Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today on the website of Gardner Hallgate Auctioneers based in the UK, we're going to have a look at one of their latest auctions, which is a guitar auction happening on the 12th of June. If you've looked at any of my other videos, you'll know that there's like four or so uh, Gardner Hallgate guitar auctions coming up. I've done videos on the other ones. This is the last one I'm left to do. So on the 11th of June, you have like celebrity guitars, mainly the Bernie Marsden of White Snake collection and some other stuff. Here on the 12th, the catalogue we're going to look at today is kind of electric guitars in general, hopefully some pretty good stuff, a ridiculous amount of lots, 560. Then on the 13th, you have kind of pro audio like amps and pedals and stuff. And then on the 14th, there was an, uh, a kind of antique guitar sale and I've done videos on all of those. So we can have a really quick look at this electric guitar sale because there's so many lots in it, it would just take forever otherwise. But just to say this is a UK based auction happening on the 12th of June, I will put a link in the description. Um, bear in mind that this is in the UK, so if you're looking to buy anything from abroad, import export fees, shipping, CITES restrictions, etc. Uh, I think the buyer's premium for this sale is 26.4%, so whatever the final hammer price is, you need to add that to the final price so that could add quite a bit to it um, 560 lots it's pretty mad so what we're going to do is just briefly go over uh, what's here and just have a look and we're just going to skim through it Garden Hallgate people themselves actually have a really good YouTube channel that I recommend kind of watching they really go through everything in detail and they know what they're talking about obviously they're kind of a little bit biased because they're running the auction but they definitely do know their stuff and I would recommend having a look at that so we're going to do a super quick speed through if you do enjoy these videos please consider subscribing like or comment because it really does help uh, right anyway let's carry on so starting off we've got some Fender Telecaster here, Geosonic, uh, kind of Noventa Telecaster here, that's kind of interesting, let's have a look at that one, 4 to 600 is the estimate, so a Mexican one here, There's, depending on the items some have more information than others, got a Jazz Master, modern player which are quite cool, Fender Strat there, 60th anniversary, Light Ash Telly, Classic player with a Bigsby there, another Bigsby one, uh, 1968, okay, that could be interesting, could be worth looking at. 1968 Fender Telecaster Bigsby electric guitar made in the USA. Pots from 1966, let's have a quick look at that, so four to four and a half on that, so it's definitely had some heavy wear there on the neck. Could be an interesting one for someone see if there's any other things original finish stripped and body lacquered yeah so hence the price otherwise it'd be a bit more expensive so but an interesting one nevertheless 2012 fender mark not flat strap there 2017 fender telecaster 1970 c 73 fender precision base there classic series jazz master okay 1983 fender dan smith two knob strat looks like it's got lace sensors in let's just have a look and see yeah lace sensors i actually really like the look of lace sensor pickups i think they're pretty cool you can kind of tell uh from a, a mile away really that uh, those are what are in there and i really like those kind of my one of my favorite guitars is like the fender telecaster elite which has the lace sensors in i think they are really awesome they do occasionally come up for auction but uh, they're quite expensive right 1963 fender strat here let's have a look at that olympic white refinish here We've got a few other bits here and there there's a gear review there from the gardener hall get people they really do know their stuff to be fair so i think it's definitely worth checking out their channel Yes, yeah, interesting to see what's around here. Three to six, in a way, like, it just doesn't seem like that much money, really. I swear the, the value of these things has really changed, really. But uh, who knows anymore? Fender Hank Marvin, American Telecaster, 1975 Precision Bass. Okay, interesting, 1983 Fender Elite 2 Precision Bass. I don't remember seeing a Fender Elite Bass before, so that's interesting. 1997 Fender Jazz. 
Fender Custom Shop, Jerry Donahue Telecaster there. These acoustic sonic things. We're just going to have to blitz through this because otherwise we will literally be here forever. But that's some pretty interesting stuff. Fender Bullet from 1981. Kind of budget line stuff. 1974 Fender Stratocaster Hardtail there. 1500 to 2000 is the estimate. That just doesn't seem too bad, really. So maybe I'm just really out of the loop. One of these thin lines here. Light Ash Classic Series. This stuff fairly standard. Got the Acoustic Sonic there. See if we got anything really interesting. Here's a custom shop, David Gilmore here, four to five. If you're a big kind of Pink Floyd fan, let's see what else you got here. All custom shop stuff. Right, 1962 Fender Stratocaster. Five to seven. I'm presuming this body looks a bit too good condition, so I'm presuming that this has been refinished as well. Yeah, three tone sunburst poly refinish as well, which is not very nice. Uh, so some refinished necks and things. So that is why the price is so low. Uh, people didn't realise, I guess, at the time, and did lots of refinishing. Or Fender Custom Shops here. 1977 Fender Telecaster there, 1200 on that. Black finish. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad price actually for a 77. I know that's not super, super old, but still. Mustang there from 66. One of these, these Fender Performers, I think are bonkers looking things. Really quite bizarre. Fender Light Ash. I mean, there's just so much stuff. We just can't look at everything. 2022 there. Modified 1966 Mustang. 1974 Precision Bass. Ah, okay, here we go. This is exactly what I was talking about. 1983 Fender Telecaster Elite. 1000 to 1500. These prices are still kind of similar to what I remember from a few years ago. So this is one of my favorite all-time favorite models actually I think from Fender but this this one I'm not too keen on there's one which was sunburst with the maple fingerboard in one of the magazines once and that was it that to me that's like the pinnacle of things so let's have a look at 1970s hardtail there for 4000 so it looks like that has its original finish there so that's kind of interesting Let's have a look at this one. Fender Stratocaster 1973 blonde finish with that kind of the big headstock there. That doesn't seem unreasonable either. A few more bases popping up here. Squire. Let's see what else we've got here. More Squire stuff. I went to Gibson. Gibson Grabber Baser from 2012. Quite cool. Studio custom there. Nineteen seventy one Gibson Les Paul Deluxe. It has those kind of mini humbucker type things or whatever they call them. Let's see. Okay. Two and a half to three on that. Twenty nineteen. Nineteen sixty three Gibson. Les Paul SG Junior. It's kind of quite nice. Body cherry finished mahogany. Let's see what else we got here. Gibson J fifty acoustic. It's always quite popular. It's had a little bit of damage there, it seems. So 2000 Gibson Custom Mickey Baker Les Paul 426 or Gibson Les Paul Junior 1956 Gibson Country Western 
Right, let's have a look at this. 1952 Gibson Les Paul model electric guitar. It's one of these ones which has like the original tail piece, I think. Gold top finish. It's, yeah, it's got green. It's greeny finish. Heavy finish wear. Let's see what else is going on here. Da, da, da. Frets good. Electric's working. Pickups are appear original. Replace switch. Da, 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 da. Good for condition for age. This seems like really, really quite reasonable. Fifteen to twenty thousand. I think that's pretty, pretty nice bit of history. I guess it's because it's got the P nineties, and it's got that kind of original tail piece, or I think, or close to the original tail piece, which wasn't very stable for tuning. Maybe that's why the value is not so high as like the burst ones. But I think that's a nice uh, looking guitar there. I think that's pretty pretty decent. 1955 um, M4C arch top. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we've got here. I mean, there's just so much. It's just absolutely ridiculous there. 2014 custom shop. All these kind of custom shops, 1971 there as well. What's this? Uh, Sonics, they're quite funny. Daxon Co modified, okay. Relic Nitro. Sold with certificate of authenticity, confirming that this guitar was modified by Daxon Co American Guitars Columbia. Okay, interesting. Another one of those as well. L6S, these are pretty funky as well. Always like these, 1000 to 1500 on that. Another custom shop here. Right, 1963 Gibson Birdland. Now that is a nice guitar for sure. 10 to 12 on that one. It's a beautiful looking instrument. Let's see what else we've got here. More custom shop stuff here. More custom stuff. Really like these SG Supremes actually. These I thought were really nice as well. Fifteen hundred to two thousand on those. More custom stuff. Nineteen ninety Gibson Birdland Master model. More country and western there, more SG. 1961 Gibson ES345 TD 8 to 12 on that one. And 1959 Gibson ES175 D. 1976 Gibson ES175 D. So we're getting a good selection here of uh, Gibsons. And they've got a Trini Lopez. Guitar here, six to eight on that. 1967, 1959 ES140. That's interesting. 2014. Let's pull. Not even on just on the second page now. 1975 Gibson Flying V. Let's see what else. 1968 ES330. Three to four, and that looks like it might be refinished or something. Maybe not. Heavy checking. So it looks a little bit weird. Yes, one twenty T. Or custom shop stuff here. Nineteen sixty seven Gibson J forty five. More custom shop stuff here. Yeah, a whole load of uh, custom shop things. Nineteen forty Gibson yes three hundred. That's interesting. That's a curious looking. Uh, is that the pickup there? Yeah, that's really interesting. I just don't remember seeing that uh, model before. That's quite curious. Early 1970s Gibson SG Custom, two and a half to three. That's kind of nice walnut finish. That is, yeah, that's a very sleek looking guitar. It's pretty cool. Give some custom shops here. We're just going to have to skip these because too much going on. Here's Heritage that took over the old Gibson fam, uh, factory. 1800 to 2200. 
Paul Reed Smith, Bernie Marsden model actually. More Paul Reed Smith stuff here. Not a massive fan of uh, Paul Reed Smith stuff, I have to be honest. So I'm gonna skip through this. Right, we've got a uh, 1976 Anthony Zematis uh, guitar here. These are very popular. Fifteen to twenty thousand on that. Made for Melvin Whitaker. Okay, it's got a certificate of authenticity and all of that fun stuff. Another 1984 Anthony Zematis custom six string bass guitar. Okay, interesting. Thought to be the only six string bass made by Anthony Zematis for Melvin Whitaker. Okay, interesting Rickenbacker here. Double neck. Kind of bass in guitar. 2017 Rickenbacker, so we're on Rickenbacker land here. Fairly modern one so far, as a 1973 lap steel as well. 4001 bass guitar. Right, a few acoustics here, some Martins there, more modern stuff. Let's see, Taylors we're on as well. That's not super exciting. Dave King. Loudon, so it was quite popular. 1980s Loudon there. Let's see, Taylor Custom, Brent McElroy, Dermot McElroy. Brooke Guitars, I think they're quite popular. David Oddy, stuff here. More David Oddy, Ovation. More Adamas by Ovation. More Ovation stuff. Let's see. More Teka, Tekamine, or Tekamini, whatever you want to call them. Some jazz stuff here. 1989, John Lavoie. Jazz guitar there. 800 to 1200. Saga at EKO. Gitane, so lots of gypsy jazz guitars here. Unusual David Hodson gypsy jazz guitar. 300 to 500. Macafari, one of these kind of plastic uh, guitars, I think. Let's see what else we've got. Right, Selma Macafari orchestral model. 7 to 10. This is like the kind of the thing that all the gypsy jazz players want. It's one of these guitars. Very popular. Right, some Colling stuff here. These are always really high-end guitars. So that's quite nice. Oh, that's nice. Andy uh, Manson mandolin and acoustic guitar. Three and a half to four and a half thousand on that. That's really nice. That's a really nice looking instrument. It looks almost like a com kind of a photo glitch there. But that is very cool. That'll be nice for the thumbnail. Another Andy Manson there, a nice arch top as well, 1600 to start. That's quite nice. Not bad. Right, some Ibanez Artists, which I really like actually. These are really nice guitars. 1000 to 1500, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, a whole load of them. Wow, this really is quite a bit of Ibanez Artists. I don't think I've ever seen so many Ibanez Artists in one place. A nice double neck one as well, wow. I think this must have been someone's collection. Yeah, this is a really cool sale. Wow, I've literally never seen so many Ibanez artists before. Ibanez musician, and these are pretty cool. More Ibanez stuff here. Ibanez professional, wow. All of these like really nice Ibanez models must have been someone's collection here. Some really nice stuff. I've mean, noticed Howard Roberts, Steve Lukather. That's a real nice amount here. Here's your gems, your kind of Steve Vi ones. Other kind of stuff here. More Ibanez, JHS, Joe Doe guitars. I'm not quite sure who they are, but we must carry on. Nags guitar there. These are. Pretty nice as well. This is an interesting kind of space guitar. 
nice uh, finish on that one. Okay, Epiphone Rivoli. So I'm going to have a load of Epiphones here. So older Epiphones. Casino, Sheraton, some Les Pools and stuff. Double Neck. More kind of Epiphone stuff, not super exciting. We're into Gretches now as well. So Gretch Atkins there. See if we've got any really nice vintage ones. These are quite nice. The black uh, penguin. These are pretty cool looking guitars. More Gretsch stuff there. We're on to Gordon Smith. Yeah, cool. Do you like a bit of the old Gordon Smiths? Yeah, pretty cool. Nice kind of 78, fairly early ish one there. Yeah, a whole load. Wow, amazing collection here. It's a good opportunity to get some good budget ones. We're on to Yamaha's now as well. Great selection so far. These are always interesting, these Yamaha MSG guitars, 5 to 700 there. Very interesting. More Yamaha acoustics. Hollow body there. Very thin. Oh, and to Hofner stuff here. Hofner President. That's a nice art shop. This is a nice Club 50 electric guitar. These are really like the original 700 to 1000. These are cool looking guitars. They've got a lot of cool vibe to them. Let's see what else we've got here. Hofner Committee. I really like all of these nice big kind of arch top guitars. Got Guild stuff here as well. Some nice Guild bits. Greco Roland, some interesting stuff here. Dobro resonators here. National 1930s National. It's quite nice. Another national here. Godin, Canadian stuff here. Revolta stuff, like kind of more modern bits. Hagstrom Music Man here as well. I've got some old school burn stuff. This is quite nice. TR2. 500 to 800, it's a pretty funky model actually. It's a really nice piece of wood actually for this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool looking guitar to be fair. A few more kind of Burns, Baldwin kind of stuff. Harmony, Fret King. Or Fret King, that's interesting. GOC Valkyrie electric guitar, 4 to 600. Okay. Parts casters, custom guitars there. There's a whole load of random things going on here. Good quality custom build thin line S type guitar. Yeah, really nice looking uh body there, interesting pickup, so could be a cool project there. Some kind of random bits here. We're on to solo bits here. Oh, okay, interesting. So we've got one of these Kawaii guitars, and there's definitely people that used to collect these on some of the forums, so I wonder if anyone's looking out for these. Yeah, not super common, but that's quite interesting. Pablo uh, Muna's PRS style guitar. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Washburn, EVH, Chapman guitar stuff here, Watkins, the old stuff, Airline, got reissues, Spectre, okay, so we're into interesting territory, Arias here, Levinson Blade, Charvel, that's an interesting one, 1950s Abbott Victor Music Master 3 Archtop, Three to five hundred, and that's a kind of bonkers looking thing, isn't it? That's quite interesting. Patrick James Eggle there when he's making his acoustics, not sure if he's still going, maybe he is. D'Angelico there, Besson Arch Shop, that's interesting. Musima, a few more acoustics here. Matthew Carter, Freshman, that's an interesting looking one. 
Alden, Matten, John Holler, bass there. Interesting stuff here. Now I think we're getting into the kind of bargain basement e stuff, squires, etc. Epiphone stuff, yeah, so it looks like we're hitting the lower tier stuff, Turner, or Yamaha lower tier Yamaha stuff here. Let's see what an amazing sale though, some pretty cool stuff. Ibanez, Harmony, stuff like that. Ooh, line 6 Variax custom made jazz guitar okay some Honer stuff here some of these old 60s uh, guitars Jetson all of these kind of budget 60s ones interesting Aria Pro 2 there, so we're on the last page now. Let's see what else we've got here. Dean, Maya, we're definitely on the budget stuff here. Custom stuff, lap steels, whole range of different things, more lap steels, recording king, wise and born up there. Nice zenith arch top, these are pretty cool. That's Antoria. Columbus, it's all these kind of budget 70s, 80s brands here. Some random instruments, some low budget Schecter stuff. Yeah, some interesting bits and pieces for sure. Dan Electro, JHS, a few acoustics as well. Why not? Switch Vibra, so I feel like every single auction. A guitar auction has one of those, or at least the Gardner Hall get ones. Maybe it's the same one. A few acoustics, something's been withdrawn. Or acoustics, nice arch top as well. Sakura, let's pull copy there. Interesting. Famous left handed arch top. Homemade alloy lap steel, interesting. Okay, let's see what else. Jet chess. And we've got an encore and a hammer slammer. Okay, so there we go. That is the end of the uh, Gardner Hall Gate kind of electric guitar auction for the 12th of June. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting. There's some pretty decent kind of interesting stuff there, especially the Fender kind of Gibson area. There's some really interesting stuff, so definitely worth checking out if you do like guitars. So yeah, that was just a really super quick run through. Definitely check out the videos of the Gardner Hallgate people themselves because they've got some great stuff. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, really appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.